Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Before we start today's video, can you please support me by hitting that subscribe button down below. So I recently got this desk lamp off of Craigslist. And interesting enough, it came with an LED bulb, which I thought was kind of interesting. I don't want to use this as a desk lamp. I want to use it for filming. I bought this for my GoPro camera. And I like the clamp here, and I like the lock line because you can pose it pretty easily. So today's project is taking this lamp and putting it onto a clamp mount with lock line in the middle. So we're gonna need a few parts. I went and picked up some lock line. Lock line pliers. Now you don't need these, but boy, it sure makes it easy. I picked up this three panel LED light from the Mega Bigger Box store and I like because it's posable. The plan is to screw this light into this fixture. I'll have to cut this off and modify it. So sometimes when you film when the light is too harsh and with these panels being posable, that will help. But that's only gonna go so far. So to diffuse the light, I have a cloth diaper I'm going to put on there, but if you put the light at different angles, it could fall off. I printed these 3D clips, and they go on the light. Back here's a little slack, and you can either put in a, a wooden clothespin or a plastic clothespin, and then you can clip the cloth diaper, or you can use an old t-shirt, whatever you have. So I have printed three clips and have three plastic clothespins on there. Now you could use a rubber band, paper clip, there's a lot of things you could use. I got a 3D printer, so why not use it? And now that can help diffuse your light. For a clamp, I'm not gonna use this one. I have a couple of these pony clamps laying around. I think this is gonna work out fine. So the real trick is how do we get the lock line attached to the pony clamp. On the other side, how do we get the lock line attached to the light? Place a washer on a threaded rod, feed it through your segment, another washer on the back side, and then you thread on a nut. And you tighten that down, and now you have a through hole to attach to the lamp. So I drilled out this hole a little bigger in 3 eighths. I took this setup and bolted it down here. And now I can run the cord through the lock line and out the hole in the bottom. So that's the bottom of the lamp. So now we have to take the light apart and cut this off. I'm gonna use a diamond cutoff wheel to cut this into two, and then I'll come back with an angle grinder and do any burring. When you debur that edge, you have to be careful you don't sharpen it. That looks pretty good. Now the fun part is we put everything back together. The hardest part of this whole project is taking one segment off. And for that, I put some inner tube on a pair of pliers. That way the pliers don't scratch the segment. And it just pops off. If the segments get scratched from your pliers, it might not really lock as well as you want it to. So I put all my fittings in there. And we got a through hole in there. A couple washers. It's tightened down. A little trial and error to get the right amount of thread sticking out. I'm putting in the locking washer that was on there. 
once you have that nut started by hand, put a wrench on there. And with a socket on the other side, you can tighten that up. You want this connection really tight because the weight of that light will rotate and that wouldn't be good. So I got a piece of segments here about 18 inches. I think they'll work out fine. Snap on the light cover and then take your pliers and snap on the clamp. We got that on. Now straighten out your, your segments the best you can. Pull the cord out just a little bit. Give these wires a twist. Now if you're not comfortable, if you're not comfortable working with wires and electricity, Find a qualified electrician in your area to help you. With the wires reconnected, we just gotta put the socket back in. And there was this plastic washer. Remember, you gotta save everything when you take it apart. And this knurled nut. I'll take my locking pliers and snug that all up. Now we screw the light in. Plenty of clearance here. And now, the moment of truth. Hey, it works. If you look at the MKE gadget sign, you can see it's a little washed out. So we can pose these lights. And just by posing them a little bit, it's not washed out so much, but still. And now we'll go with the, the diaper diffuser. Put that on there. And that really makes a difference. It's more of an orange. And we'll take off the diaper. And you can really see the difference. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of taking that lamp. I got free off of Craigslist. Modifying it. Adding some lock line. A spring clamp. Some 3D printed parts. Clothespins and a diaper. I'm hoping to use this in future videos to help improve my lighting. This is MKE Gadgets. Please subscribe, share this with your friends, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.